All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I want to give honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rahakadash. Say, Barakat the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh, Bahashim, Rahakadash. And we give the honor to our apostles and our elders, which are apostles, elders, a great millstone, which feed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, 2024, which is the whole full year of Jacob's trouble. Lord willing, this be the year that Yah Bashim Yashar redeems the elect, sets up the kingdom of heaven, which belongs to Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are spread out through the four corners of the planet Earth. This is a lesson I wanted to go into. Me and uh, me and the brother were doing a live stream, and we touched on it for uh, a quick second, you know, in showing that not all men have living water, okay? Not all men have living water. I was going to say IUIC don't have living water, but they're not, you know, the only camp that doesn't have that living water. And I'm going to go into that subject here shortly. So the time we are now is there is a sifting, there's a separation. All right, because we're all being tried in the spirit. All of us are going through our, our um, ups and downs and the uh, fire of adversity to cleanse us. You know, and these other camps don't realize it either. You know, that's why a rebuke is like a fire, you know, and it'll it'll take the impurities out of you or it'll burn you up. You know, and what's some uh, example of men being burnt up is that you get in your feelings. You know, this ain't personal. This ain't personal. We can't, we're not here to glorify anybody. If we, if we know that we're not here for glorification, then why would somebody rebuke you unless it was um, <clears throat> in the spirit? You know, there is no benefit of us rebuking you. You know, there is there's a benefit of the defending the gospel and making sure that the doctrine is in order. And, and if you want to look there, Yahweh Shai and going into John, they had a rebuke spirit. John had a rebuke spirit so much that the rebuke spirit is what, you know, eventually cost him his life, man. You know, that was all set up in the spirit anyway. But to look at, you know, even Yahweh Shai coming in there dealing with the Sadducees and Pharisees, the wicked, the wicked ones, just like it says, among my people are found wicked men. So if it says that now, how much more back then, you know, when men had less curses on them, less oppression, they were more high minded than now. You know, Jake had a little bit of land, you know, maybe had a house, some cattle, you know, a trade, something they were making money in. So it was even harder now when you want hard hardcore slavery chattel slavery you know that uh coming from that as uh you know elders say is is having a mentality of we were we were at beat as as made as beast same thing as esau when he was then he was in the uh juniper roots <laughs> he was digging up the roots in the marrow so that's uh, the mentality that we were put in now we've been taken out of that mentality and been given the breath back and the life knowledge wisdom and understanding but the main point is with, um, we're going to read out of John 7 and verse 38. Okay, so we'll read John 7 and 38 because this is the main scripture that sets the tone for it. And uh, when I read this, it was it was just a, uh, just to show that not all men have living water. He didn't say just water. Okay, because what, what, is, what is water representing? Water is representing wisdom. Water's representing nourishment. Same thing as the Valley of Dry Bones. They didn't have any kind of moisture in them. They, they, they were dry. It says very dry. So the teachings, the knowledge, the wisdom that's been given back to us, that's why it says we have entered into men's labors. This is something that's been already, uh, the cornerstone has been laid, which is Yahweh Shai, and it's been passed down from generation to generation by what? The inheritance and the oil. The oil is what's being given. That's why it says the virgins trim their lamps. So the oil is what's been keeping us lit throughout these generations. There's been a light in our spirit, and then there's been a light that's been in the world, but it's been hidden. All right, so let's read this scripture, and then we'll go into the, uh, the main part of the scripture to prove the point. And it says, this is John 7 and verse 38. It says, he that believeth on me. So let's, let's look at that word, believeth. It says, he that believeth on me. So where is that word? Play it. Strong's G, 4100, Pistuo. Pistuo. It says what? To think, to be true, to be persuaded of. That's why it says you must be persuaded in your own mind. Okay? 
to be persuaded of, to credit, place confidence in, of a thing believed, to credit, have confidence in a moral or religious reference used in the NT of the uh, conviction and trust to which a man is impelled by the certain inner and higher progressive or prerogative and the law of soul. So the main, the main breakdown is saying what? Where you have the usage of that um, that belief. So the belief here is having the trust. It says trust in Yahweh Shai or, pa, or Yahweh as able to aid either in obtaining or in doing something. Saving faith. Saving faith. See? Mere acknowledgement of some fact or event. So there's an acknowledgement that must take place. And we can look up what the word acknowledgement means. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can look up. Acknowledgement. It means uh, acceptance of the truth or existence of something. So that's what when we use the name, we use the, the, the prophecies that's been given to us and we acknowledge it. That's the acknowledgement of the truth or existence of something. So when you acknowledge what the MOTB is and you acknowledge what the prophecy is, then you're giving that testimony to it. The name, if you acknowledge the name, that's what, if you're not saying somebody's name or you're saying, oh, it's a name, we're going to get the name of the kingdom and you're not acknowledging it. You're, you're denouncing it. You're saying it's not what it is now. And we, we could say this and say that, or you'll say it willy nilly, or you'll say it here and there, or you'll keep it, you know, hidden. But that's not the way it, it should be. It, the Lord's name should be glorified on a, on a high level, man. But it says acceptance of the truth. And that's what it is. That's the truth. Just like he said, he gave us his name, man. Why would he not give us his name? He were his sons. What, what father doesn't know his son? What son doesn't know his father's name in any household? I mean, and, and you say, oh, yeah, maybe he left. If a father leaves the house, well, well, the Lord didn't leave us. We left him. Damn. Damn, I'm sorry, man. You know, we left the Heavenly Father. We didn't, he didn't leave us. That's why he sent his son to come and get us. You know, to bring us back. That's what reconciliation is. That's why even Deuteronomy 28 chapter says, No man shall buy you. You know, buy you back. And Yahweh shall buy us back with his blood. That's why it says you were paid, you're bought with a price. So we didn't leave the Heavenly Father. We, we, or the Heavenly Father didn't leave us. We left him. And ergo, the spirit that came with him left us, man. So it was, it was once we left, we were disconnected. Just like if a, a, a fruit falls off the vine, it has no more connection to its nutrients and it just starts rotting away. That's what happens when an apple falls from an a, a apple tree. It don't start living and, you know, it starts rotting. And, and, and breaking down, that, that, that fruity exterior starts breaking down, okay? So we see what acknowledgement is. So it says, myrrh, acknowledgement of some fact or event, okay? Now it says, uh, believeth on me as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's za'o, okay? The word there is, let's play real quick, hold on. Strong's G, 2198. Zao. 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 And the word Zao means what? To live, breathe, be among the living. See? Not lifeless, not dead. Because the one thing that you can say, Ezekiel the 37th chapter, that we was dead as a nation. We were dead in our understanding. We were dead in the uh, uh, acknowledgement of why we were in this position that we were in. We were dead. We were dead people. We didn't have no understanding where we came from, where we we're going, what was happening to us. We just sort of just faded off into, you know, that that deep sleep. That's why we just kept on into a uh, a wheel of just constant in and out of, of different tortures and, and, and captivities. And then and Babylon weighed on us. OK, and it says to enjoy real life. To have true life and worthy of the name. What name is that? What name is that? What, read it one more time. It says to have true life and worthy of the name. 
So when the Yahweh said out of that belly shall flow rivers of living water and saying the acknowledgement of the Most High's name and his son's name is the is the point of saying that's living waters. That's how you're going to be worthy and be able to taste of what the name and to have that name in your lips and to push that out there because it's not for us not to push. That was a commandment. Push the name. Who do you come with? And why did Moses ask the name period? If it wasn't important to Jake. If it wasn't important to the Israelites, why would they even care what the name of the power is of God? Because there's many gods, there's many. That's why it says, uh, what is the father's name and what is the son's name, if thou can tell. So those things were being made as a, uh, a marking point. Because there's a lot of gods, a lot of wannabe things out there, man. Okay? So it says to have true life and worthy of the name activate blessed endless in in the kingdom of yahweh so those that's why it says many um what does it say those that turn many to righteousness shall shine as the stars of heaven man okay so it didn't say oh yeah you get a piece and and and, and then you get this piece no it, it, it all israel is going to be saved no hell no burning and roasting in, in the mystical fire that's because that's what you call a fable man they were doing that back then because who made up Zeus? Who made up the, the pantheon? Those were Israelites, man. Okay? The pantheon is the believing of many gods because there were many gods in that bat in that time. Especially in Egypt, man. Look at from Horus to uh what net, all these different things, all these different idols that was being raised up. All those different things were, were contaminating Jake. That's why you had Israelites that were lost in the sauce of Egypt. They were Egyptians. They were acting like Egyptians. They were they were doing the customs of Egypt. That's why the Lord initiated the law. The law was always around. We didn't just receive it in Mount Sinai. It was around. Look in the time of the garden. How did Cain commit? What did what did Cain commit? Murder. What what was Cain and Abel doing? Offerings. Where where's where do you see offerings come into? The law. That's why you have certain high holy days where you would bring offerings. Passover is an offering. First fruits is an offering. Okay, Hanukkah, it's a it's a time of what? Of gifts giving back and forth. So our offerings are gifts to the Heavenly Father, man. Just like you buy a gift for your parent that you you adore. You like what did what did Jake do? As soon as they if they're a football player, they'll get a multi million dollar contract. What are they gonna do? They're gonna buy mama a house. You know, they don't they don't they there you go mama that, that Tupac spirit. But when it comes to the father, they don't one know him or if they do know him they don't acknowledge him because what fell out with the mom and then they've been painted as the bad guy so they don't buy pops a house they'll buy mama a house but that's where that spirit of gift giving comes in okay and it says active blessed endless in the kingdom to live i.e past life in the manner of living and acting that's why it says believeth upon me and i that i belly shall flow rivers of living water. What do you mean living water? It's not the stagnant water. It's active water. That's why it says, uh, uh, the apostles say what? It's an active camp. Ain't nothing wrong with being active. It just keeps you, just like if you run or if you if you in the gym and you don't go a day or you don't go a week, you don't go a month, you're not active. You're going to lose, you're going to be out of shape, which is true in everything. You're going to be out of shape in that thing until you can you can uh, uh, get yourself back up to your, your uh, level that you were at. But it just takes time, man. You know, a process of, of, of working it out, putting that effort in. And that's, hey, you'll get, you'll, you'll get stronger, man, in the spirit. Okay? So let's read it one more time. It says, living water having vital power in itself and ex exerting the same upon the soul. That's, psh, you can't see, you, 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 they hitting it, man. They hitting it. That was a that was an on point definition, okay? On point. So the living waters you see right now is this truth, it's this knowledge, it's the it's the growth of men in their own lives. And catching hell is a part of that living water. You know, some Jakes think that oh, I'm catching hell, and that's it. No, you're catching hell as a part of the process of that what living water coming through your life, man. Living water goes up and down streams and 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 crack. It cuts holes in rocks. That's all it's going to do. If you believe that you have the truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it's going to erode everything else out the way. You ain't got to worry about it. It's going to be eroded because water cuts through those things. It takes time. 
it's a slow process, but guess what? It's going it's going it's going to manifest itself, man. That's why we're pushing forth this truth, praying the Abashimi uh giving the 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 bodies up for a living sacrifice, pressing, you know, uh mortifying our members, all the things that go along with trying to be in this world, man, and maintain on top of being uh, in the flesh. Okay? So let's get some of these other precepts real quick because now let's back up about life. Because the truth is breathed. Because you ask a Christian what, what, what happened in the garden, they'll tell you the Lord was doing the Heimlich on clay, uh, on clay. Okay? But that's not what was going on. This is 2nd Ezra 4 and this is 2nd Ezra 3 and verse 5. And it says, And gave us a body unto Adam. Okay? The flesh. All right? The flesh is that body that was given unto Adam. It says, it says, and gave us a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thine hands, and did us breathe into be what does it say without soul? That means without without having the understanding, knowledge, wisdom in the time of the garden. Because it was around. Just like we that that was a way of saying dead bones. Okay? When you say you have a body without a soul, you you pretty much is dead. A dead state. So Adam in the garden who had a dead state on him. The Adamites, if you want to, if you want to get technical with it, read it one more time. It says, "And gave it Adam a body." So, we technically had bodies. We didn't have the spirits floating around talking about we the dry bones. No, we had bodies. We had a, a so-called mind, eyes, hands, feet, but we were also known as dead and those dry bones, man. That's how the heavenly Father looked at us, like dry bones, like a graveyard. It says, and gave it the body unto Adam without soul, which was the workman of thine hands, and did his breathe him, breathe into him the breath of life, and he was made a living, it says, a made, was made living before thee. And that's what you see, man. That's that same breath that was being, is being blown, blown now and being given unto those that have uh, been set to receive it. So all men, that's why it says all men do, don't have faith. Excuse me. It says all men don't have faith. Okay. So let's jump back and get these precepts here. So you see these other camps, man. That's why they're changing up the changing up the way. It's not living. It's stagnant water. Out of that belly shall flow stagnant water. That's what this out what well, that's what they're doing. It's not it's not living water. Because water it 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 nourishes and breeds life. The same thing with this truth. It nourishes and it breathes life. It says, Isaiah 12 and 3, Therefore, with joy shall ye draw out of the wells of living salvation. What is the wells? Is there wells in, 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 in the middle of the desert? You got to go pull up with a with an old rope. You know, you got to put, put a coin in there. No, it's not. There's, there's, it's, it's speaking about the spiritual wells, man. It's talking about a well. It says wells. And what's that? That's the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that comes from the truth. It's likened unto multiple wells, man. You can learn what the Hebrew got deepness to it. Then you learn certain certain uh, certain people's names mean something. Certain people's lands mean something. So those are going into that. Then the, the prophecies, especially with the coming MOTB, with the coming Mark, man, that's going. That's that's a part of the doctrine. That's a part of the uh, the what does it say? The gospel. Because once that is implemented, it's over with. There ain't no more waiting. There's no more slavery. They they will go ahead and capsize the 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 uh, judgment on their end. Okay, the Lord's gonna take us out of punishment, and then judgment is gonna come on this man for what he's doing. T Lord, tell he 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 didn't tell. He listened. That's what he saw. He's he that would say those lying spirits have told him to do the things that he's doing. He's pushing towards that goal. I I remember the guy. He says Operation Looking Glass. I forget what his name is, man. Um, but he went in and said that the the elites that know what's coming, it says they're in a blind panic. In a blind panic, man. They're not they're not calm right now. Cause the truth is out. Everything that you see, even look at the uh Russians letting out the black icons. They, they, man, you see them, they look like there, there was uprising and uproar and saying this ain't fair or this can't be accurate. They know. They know it's accurate because they have date stamps. They know those paintings are old. They know the artifacts are old. Those are the pictures that were taken from the icon books. 
the ones that Russia got is the ones that was taken from the icon book where you can't even barely get it nowadays, man. All right. But that's the mentality is that we man, we we're home is almost around the corner, man. This is the book of Isaiah. Uh hold on, let me read this three. It says, uh, with joy thou shalt draw out of the wells of of salvation. That's understanding, being able to go into a sit down. You might come in and you know, nervous, not knowing what to say, all all these things, but just lean on the spirit, man. Say your prayers, send up your prayers and, and do the lesson. This is Isaiah 35 and verse 6. It says, Then shall the lame man leap as an heart and the uh, tongue of the dumb sing, for in the wilderness shall water break out and streams in the desert. And that's the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's coming out for Jake, man. Not a, not a so-called conglomerate of the people. It's only coming for Jake, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Hold on, let me get this real quick. This is Isaiah 58. Verse 11. Hold on. Hold on. Isaiah 58, verse 11. Oh, that's 66. So, Rocky. Bear with me. I just got to do it. says and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places thou shalt rise up the foundation raise up the foundation of many generations and thou shalt be called the uh, repair of the branch the restore of the plants to what to what uh to well in and that's what you see taking place man the redeeming we're being rose up we're being um, assembled getting put together the gold is being tried the silver is being tried you don't try silver you don't try gold unless you plan on using it you plan on uh, doing something with it other than that you can let it sit in raw form you know so you don't collect any kind of uh patina on it all right but y'all about shimmy started getting ready to deliver the elect and set up the kingdom of heaven which belongs to negroes latinos and native americans i want to bring that out that not all men not all not all not all israelite groups have living water okay so uh, something on those lines lord willing i can get the title but uh with that i say call the law yahweh bahashim yahweh bahashim rechak wadash say barakat the yahweh break the yahweh barakat the yahweh break the yahweh barakat the yahweh break the yahweh bahashim rechak wadash until next time i say shalom and more than i never keep faith shalom